Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We have uh, made some progress on the utility room renovation. So we've got the, uh, the wall that we knocked down. These used to be closet doors. And I've uh, put some, some framing up and got the rough drywall in place. There's still a lot of work to do on the inside as far as uh, finishing the drywall in here and fixing that disaster. But uh, we'll work on that little by little. But one of the things I wanted to show you today is we're going to be doing some mudding and taping and kind of prettying all this up. We won't do, do any sanding or anything today, just the rough stuff. But these three-way corners up in the ceiling is they're very difficult to do. You've got three different tape joints coming together and uh, you want to make a nice, perfect corner there. And so I've got something I want to show you today on how to, to, to make this much easier. So I've got some a little extra lip here on these I'm going to trim up. We'll put our metal corner uh, pieces in place around the edges here and then we'll start mudding and taping all this up until we get into the corners. So I've also got this kind of corner to repair and I'm just gonna do kind of a quick quick repair job on this. But I've showed this before. This is kind of a trick that's, that's all over the internet. This is uh, just a piece of drywall that I cut uh, an, about an inch bigger on each side, except for the bottom and the corner. And I just uh, scored the back of it and then broke out the drywall and left the face paper. And so this will fit into this space and it will leave the paper to cover the outside of it. And that way you don't need to tape it or anything. It kind of keeps the whole patch secure. And so we're gonna put some mud in here first. I'll put that in and then we'll mud the outside of it. I'm also gonna screw it in to the, uh, the corner over here. Now I'm just using this joint compound. Uh, this is the pre-mix stuff that I get from Home Depot all the time. I'll put a link in the description to the, to the one that I'm using. Uh, I've had good luck with it. This is just the same stuff I've used for about the last five or six renovations I've done and uh, and I've been happy with it so We're up into the first corner here. So let me show you what we're gonna to use to uh, make this three-way joint perfect. So this is a product called Three-Way and it's actually a pre-folded or pre-designed um, piece of drywall tape that fits directly into any corner. It's an adjustable, so if your corner is not perfect, you can actually fit it into um, to any corner perfectly. And it just gives you such a nice joint, especially for amateurs like me that don't do drywall very often. <laughs> this, is a, this is a much easier way uh, to make these, uh, these, these three-way corners look good. So we're going to dig into this. Uh, there's a couple different ways to install this. I, I've seen their videos. They do it two different ways. Some, it has a self-adhesive on it. If you were dealing with three uh, bare drywalled corners without, so this has paint on it, this has paint on it, and then this is bare drywall. But if we were dealing with just a raw drywall in all three corners, you can self-adhesive this. So you just dip it in a little bit of water, take a sponge with, with wet water on it, and stick it right into the corner, and then you can mud out from it on top of it. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna mud this corner in a little bit, and I'm gonna put a little bit of mud uh, on the surface of all, all three corners there, and then we're gonna press it into place, and then I'm just gonna um, feather it out with, uh, with some mud. So uh, we'll see how that works. Thank you. 
Oh, well, the first one didn't end up too bad. It's actually quite a bit easier to make that nice tight corner, um, but uh, I need to work on feathering here a little bit more. So it's especially hard on the when it's got a painted surface to get it to smooth out well, but um, probably should have put a little more mud on that corner there. And uh, I need to use a wider knife, I think that would help. So, but it certainly did make it quite a bit easier. So I have a little sanding to do and probably a light second coat to fix some little imperfections, but uh, I think the, uh, the whole idea of it works really well. Well, the second one was certainly a lot easier to do. Uh, still, still need to, we'll need to do some sanding and, uh, and a second coat on everything, but I really like these things. It really, it makes that, that corner nice and tight. And uh, it just makes that whole process a lot easier than trying to have three tape joints coming together and then make that nice, nice corner. So mudding is certainly not my specialty. <laughs> and uh, uh, like I said before, I'm definitely an amateur. And that's why anything that will make these things easier for me, uh, I'm in on. So we'll do some paint in here and then we'll do a video on, I'm gonna be making this, uh, this sliding door to cover this, which I think will be, be pretty cool. So I'll definitely be happy when uh, this project is done. A uh, couple more days of, uh, of work on the, with the drywall here and, and then we'll have my least favorite part completed. But these three ways are pretty cool. So this is actually a, a company in Canada that, uh, that makes these. They make them in Canada too. It's not made in China, which is nice. Um, but each package comes with 10 of them. I'll put a link in the description to their site. You can check them out. And they also have videos on how to um, properly install them uh, in, a, in a professional way. So uh, my, of course, is the amateur take on it. But, uh, but pretty cool little products and definitely worth the time that they save in, uh, in, in the job uh, when it's done. It looks a lot nicer. So don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video, of course. So if this is your first time to the SSL Family Dad channel, of course, we'd love to have you subscribe and follow along if you'd like to see how this renovation turns out. We've got lots more to do. We're renovating the whole plumbing system in here, water softener, water heater, redoing all this stuff, putting these uh, sliding doors in, putting shelves in here for a closet, some heating and cooling stuff. Uh, and, and all kinds of good stuff. So you'd like to see how that turns out. Of course, you have to follow along. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.